Hey everyone, welcome to the McIlvain Home Team's December market update. Our goal is to help you understand what is going on in the market so that you can make a sound buying, selling, and investing decision for you and your family. Let's take a look at the latest numbers. Here we're looking at a rolling seven day average of new actives, new listings, new under contracts, and new sold since June the 5th. We chose June the 5th because that is when the market really started to take a turn. As you can see, new listings and closings have seen a steady decline. You can see that there's a seasonal adjustment in September, early September. That is usual after Labor Day, we usually see an increase of listings onto the market. When we look at pendings, we haven't seen as much of a delta. And if we look at December the 4th and December the 12th, 11th, we're starting to see a little bit of a softening and an increase in uh, the pendings. And that's a good sign that might be a reflection of interest rates dropping over the last five weeks and now buyers are coming to the market. So these are trends that we pay attention to and we'll continue to keep you updated. Now let's take a look at showings. How many eyeballs are going into houses? And you can see that it's a sharp decrease. Makes sense, interest rates have risen. As a result, less buyers are in the market. And so we've seen year over year anywhere from a 25 to 40 percent uh, dip in number of uh, people going into houses and what i'm encouraged by is we're starting to see a little bit of an increase we're down we're back to just down 30 percent still high hopefully this trend since september the 30th of increase is going to continue The list to sales price ratio simply says if a house is listed for 900K and it sells for 900K, that's a 100% list to sales price ratio. In the spring, we were seeing 5%, in some places, 5 to 10 to 11% above asking price. That's where all the escalations were coming in. Well, now what we're seeing, really, since, uh, since the summer, that we were moving closer to 100% list to sales price ratio, and now we're almost 4% below. This is a great opportunity for buyers. I hear often that, oh my goodness, the interest rates are so high, I'm gonna wait. The, the thing about that is, you are now able to buy a house that is probably going to see price reductions Sellers are listing homes for less than what they were in the spring. And so it's a really great opportunity for buyers and investors alike. Sellers, if the home is staged really well and you have good renovations and it's appealing to buyers, then you're going to do quite well. We went into a house the other day. It had a Christmas tree up. It had uh, very nicely staged furniture. Uh, it was just beautiful. And that's the type of house that is probably still going to generate a couple of multiple offers and will be under contract in less than a week. The national news loves to paint a gloomy picture and the sky is falling. But here you can see year over year appreciation. We're still seeing growth. We're still seeing your house going up in value. Uh, more of a if you look um, month over month, we are seeing some declines for sure, but still year over year, your home is going up in value. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you know someone who would benefit from receiving these market updates, or if you'd like a more in-depth look at your particular neighborhood, please reach out. We'd be more than happy to assist you. As we reflect back on this year, we're so grateful to those of you who bought or sold a home with us. Also, a big thank you to those who put their trust in us and referred us to a family member, friend, or coworker. Please continue to keep us in mind in 2023. We're here to serve you. Lastly, and most importantly, Sarah, Jenny, Wendy, and I wish you a joy-filled, peaceful, 
Christmas and holiday season. Thanks.